First, you have to rig a set with the equipment where I want them to be, uh, in a, say, position-wise, to light uh, this area, this area, in the back, in the front, all, all over the place, different playing areas. We light playing areas. I never let, if you have a playing area here, you go to another scene here, continuation, I never let the middle the, in between. I only played uh, and uh, I mean I lit playing areas. Two people are standing here. I back cross him, I back, uh, put a light on the backside, lighting him, giving me a Rembrandt shadow on his face. I do the same thing for him, that's from the back, back crosses, back keys, you know. And then make sure when they move one way or the other, you don't want to be shadowed. So I made sure uh, when, when I back crossed, I say, okay, move, uh, do me a favor, move all the way, all the way, okay, he is clear, put the light there. So I know you don't want to tell the actor later on, hey, move this way because you are shadowing somebody. You have to be in a dark, the actors are so busy thinking about what they want to do, you don't want them to worry about lighting. So I made sure that's a problem with a lot of our people until today. Well, he's paid to hit his mark. No, actors are human beings. They have feelings that are going with all the stuff going on in there to improve, you know, do the characterization. You don't want them to worry about. It. So I made sure always gave them room to move both sides. So when one guy leaves, I go with him camera wise to here and he looks this way. The guy comes into the picture. Now I back cross him a key for here, a key for here. I do the same thing. Now, if there is a window behind this guy who is standing here, I overlight him a little bit, f-stop. This way you feel of the source, the sunlight. Now, the opposite, if you go to a corner, I make him darker. I don't put too much backlight because where is the source? Now, if they go and there is a practical, like this light behind me here, and then I say, I'll put a very, very, very soft, because this is soft, there's not harsh. There's that big uh, white material, soft is not, so I put a soft background. So I feel, I always give you the feel of a source, you know. So uh, they are not used to that technique. All what they're used to, okay, put a key and a fill, bing, and oh, bring a backlight. Now, another thing, they are used to everything by dimmers. All the lights I use on Barney Miller are plugged into dimmers, but I never use the dimmers to bring light up and down, up and you know. I use diffusion. They, they don't have that. Now they do. After I left, everybody has diffusion now, here and in New York. So I say somebody walks into a light. I don't want to dim it down. What happens to the background? Bring it down, it's, you know, it's stupid. So what, you know, uh, and so when somebody walks in towards me, I put a double or a single, whatever it takes to bring the same same amount of light. 25, instead of 50, I put something to bring it down to 25, okay? More, uh, another diffusion. I use doors, side doors, to only, if somebody is two people talking, you don't want to light anything beyond that, on the right side or left side, only, the two, only that area where the two guys standing. Also, I cut the light, if that's the key coming from the front, let's say, also, even the back, you don't want it to hit that all over the place. You want to take the light off the wall. So I bring cutters. They didn't have cutters. They use doors. No, the doors, you know, the light comes up and it seeps beyond and creates shadows all over. So I bring black cloth, black material, and hang it on the pipes in front to bring it way down. So I'll go into the middle of the set, I say, bring the black down, so the light now is in here, okay? I said, no, bring it up, so I, you know, because if he's tall, you have to go by height, tall. So that's how I controlled all the front, which is only two lights coming this way, the, from this side, that. Then another one from here, higher, a little soft to give you one to three, one to four, you know. That's the keys, how we light, control the light. Rigging, to put the light where you want them, that's something new. What's a back cross? Well, it has to be here. Now you go into the jail area in the Barney Miller. Now, uh, you cannot have a straight light. You have to go higher 
and the boom, our man here, has to be under it. So you don't create, you cannot put a light here and put the boom here, you see the shadow all over the place. So you have to light four booms in multi-camera. Usually you have two booms. Now, if the lighting is done on the floor, you use different technique, you know, you light under and you put the boom over. If you light from up high, it's the opposite. So you have to watch that. There is technique for multi-camera from lighting from the beds or lighting on the floor. Uh, so that's now that goes the front area playing area. So I light this area where the desk of uh, let's say Jack and uh, Wojo here. I light I back cross Wojo because he's always looking that away. And you put the back cross or the key of the guy. If you are there and looking at me, I will light you this way. Now me, I will light me this way. So the key is coming from here and coming there, not from here, not from here, here a little fill, a little fill of ambiance. So when you intercut, you are playing source automatically. When you shoot your, you know, you are talking to me, you are hot here, then you cut towards me, I am hot here. So you realize there is a source here, true source. Other shows, even features, they screw up, they don't do that. They have, okay, they light your back cross say this way, then somebody come in, they change, they put here. It doesn't, doesn't make sense, you know. Uh, uh, I would call it pictorially, feeling-wise. You feel something wrong, but you don't know what it is, you know. So that's why our technique, make sure uh, all your sources hitting you, it's coming from the same area. Unless you move to another side, it changes accordingly. So we have two lights for it, small lights, not big, on here, here, only that area shoot. They move to here, one and one. Now, all the front, whenever they move, I have ambience coming this way. 4K softs, you know. And you, again, you bring the black cloth way, way down so the ambience doesn't go beyond top of your head. So that means all the walls on, up in the back, all the sets are not lit, they are down. A little leak of light. Uh, now, to get into that position, you have to bring enough cable to light this light, uh, to control it, to light this light, to that light. So you have to tell the guys where you want all this uh, cable to go to, especially in the major studio. Mm -hmm. You don't have dimmers. So uh, rigging is very, very important. You have to know to tell the guy the best boy, the gaffer, where you want your lights. This is the way I want to, that's the style I want to use. I know. Now, sometimes I use harsh lights. It depends on, on the scene, story-wise. We are storytellers. Sometimes I use soft. Now, when you have four or five people around, all around in an area, and you want to back cross, I use soft lights to back cross. This way, they could move all over. You don't have harsh shadows. Maybe a little, but not bad. So that's that's another technique. They had to fault me. They have to get soft lights because they don't have. Now I say, I want egg crates. So what's egg crates? You want to control the light. Uh, you know, if you have two people here and you want to light here, you don't want to light all over the place, up and down, all. So you want it to only hit that area which you are watching on television, you are seeing, you know. That's what you are lighting. So I go beyond the egg crates. They bring a steel egg crates, we put, which you have one behind you there. Mm -hmm. I add more, I put show cars or foam core, extend the control of the light, extend these doors, you know, like a square light, you know. This way you, again, that's technique, you control the light more than just opening it like a small accrete. Accretes, no matter what, they come like that, like this. When you add an extension, it becomes exactly where you want it. You are controlling, the light, that's the secret. My grandson, who was nine, could light. I'm not, I'm not kidding, you could say, okay, bring a camera and could put a light on the floor and light it down any place and you will have exposure. How to control the light is the secret. And that's what tells a story through lighting, you know. 